Welcome back. There's breaking news coming in over the Coimbatore blast that took place in the wee hours of Sunday. Top intelligence sources are now telling your channel that the details are unraveling even as the NIA takes over the investigation. There was a plot to conduct a Fidayin style attack. So the man who was looked at as a victim who died in that crash really was the accused, the man who planned this entire attack. So are also telling your channel that the attack was planned to spread havoc during Diwali. Remember, it did go off one day before Diwali, very, very close to a temple. The terror suspect, Mubin, who was killed, was grilled by the NIA in 2019 as well on a similar case. But due to lack of evidence, there was no case that was registered against him. Now, as far as this particular instance is concerned, 78 kilograms of explosive material was found at his residence. Agencies believe that there was a plot to replicate the 2019 Easter Sunday attack in Sri Lanka. Now, why do the agencies believe that? Because there seems to be a link between the man who masterminded that particular attack and Mubin. Now, Mubin met an ISIS terrorist, Azruddin, in prison. Azruddin has been in jail in Cochin and has been linked to the Easter attack planner, Zaharan Hashim. Now, one suspect that is linked to the al Umar terrorist, S.A. Basha, there is that link also that is under investigation. Now, remember, Basha was behind the 1998 Coimbatore blast, which killed 50 people. The agencies believe that when the cops called it a cylinder blast and not a suicide attack, there was a reason to try and brush this under the carpet and not look at the magnanimity of the entire plot. There's also CCTV footage which shows explosives were loaded in a car CCTV footage that was accessed by your channel here as well. The agencies, which is the NIA that has now taken over the investigation, believes that there is clear proof that ISIS cells are active in the state of Tamil Nadu and there is evidence that, effort, that the state police was trying to play down this entire attack. That's the narrative and that's the investigation in which, uh, that's the direction in which the investigation is now going. And Purnima, my colleague, joins me for more on this. Now, Purnima, the BJP has been alleging this as well. Yesterday, we had the state BJP president come out and say that not only were they trying to brush this aside and not call it a terror attack and repeatedly refer to this as a cylinder blast, they were also uh, not ensuring that it was handed over to the NIA immediately. The NIA took over only today after the chief minister was in a huddle with top officers. Absolutely. Only now the state government has taken cognizance of the entire developments that have panned out over the last uh, 36 hours. Remember, uh, the chief minister recommended an NIA investigation considering that the dimensions are far beyond the state and that uh, the deceased those who have been arrested could have international links and therefore the NIA uh, investigation is in need of the hour is something that the Tamil Nadu government, uh, gov uh, government had uh, recommended and they've also uh, uh, they've also introduced a lot of measures but considering that uh, Coimbatore is currently in tense situation there are many radicalized youths uh, in Coimbatore uh, Tamil Nadu chief minister has now ensured that there will be three police stations in uh, intense areas in Coimbatore Senior officers will now be part of the intel department here in the state, and there will be uh, many other uh, many other CCTV cameras installed in sensitive areas across the state. So these are some of the measures that uh, Chief Minister had uh, suggested after meeting with DGP Intel uh, Department Chief and also the Home Secretary. But all this only after the BJP said there have been enough evidence. For example, the WhatsApp uh, uh, the WhatsApp status of the deceased uh, and. Uh, much more to say that this was a pre-planned attack. There have been many explosives uh, found at the residence uh, of uh, the deceased and also inside the car. And uh, they were, uh, so the BJP said that it's time for the NIA to take up the case. And right now, after three days, the Tamil Nadu government has uh, reacted to the developments with regards to the incident that broke out at uh, Sunday morning at 4 a.m. Absolutely. And we still don't have anyone coming on record from the state government or from the DMK, isn't it? Because the questions are being asked as to why uh, there was an attempt perhaps to cover this up. That's the allegation that the BJP is making. And yet we haven't had anybody from the DMK come out and clear the air. Absolutely. The, uh, the, the DMK has remained tight-lipped on the issue uh, so far. It's only uh, the Coimbatore uh, police commissioner yesterday uh, said that... Uh, UAPA will now be invoked against all the five accused and also said 
that uh, yes, uh, there are other people also under the radar, and they're also trying to probe the NIA link. So only mm. after uh, two days, uh, the commissioner had come out uh, and uh, given a clear explanation, and also invoked UAPA. Uh, apart from that, uh, even uh, till date, uh, the DMK spokespeople have not. Uh, uh, have not reacted to the entire episode and uh, the DMK as a party has remained tight-lipped. Three days after the developments broke out, uh, the Tamil Nadu uh, Chief Minister has now recommended an NIA, uh, an NIA investigation considering that it is uh, it is quite a serious uh, uh, matter and that there are links, alleged links with uh, the mastermind of the Easter bombing attacks and uh, that's why now the Tamil Nadu government has finally reacted three days after the incident took place. Absolutely. The NIA has now taken over. The investigation is on about not just links outside of the state, but outside of the country as well. For the moment, Purnima, thank you so much for getting us the very latest.